So, I'm coming along with my main series. We are coming to Gemini. Gemini, the planet ruled by Mercury. Uh, the sign ruled by Mercury. Um, and it's quick-witted, quick good with words, um, very good energetic energy. Um, an air sign, so they're flowing, they're mutable air, so mutable signs are really good at adapting. So we've got the mutable signs of Pisces, Gemini, Sag, and Virgo. So these are all mutable signs. So if you've got um, a mutable moon, that means you probably had a mother who was like quite... Um, good and sociable she may have like been a really sociable character in the neighborhood people would come round to her house all the time and um, with you your friends were always there it was like a social hub of the area and you'd always have your friends around she'd always have her friends around and yeah it was just one of those kind of houses um and it could have sometimes you felt like it was too much and you needed your space and you hid away i know one gemini moon who had like an attic room and her mum and her would switch places of where she'd sleep so she'd like hide in the attic and then I knew another Gemini like friend who I had for years who had an attic room too but spent hours on the phone hours doing their makeup being very meticulous about it so yeah Gemini and I is a very meticulous sign actually they're very like crafty they're very um more creative than people think they can get loads of things done at once I've noticed a lot of the time so they may where it's the moon it, you may have a mother who is very like that like she could do like many things at once and would get herself out there into like social justice issues uh, issues with the neighborhood neighborhood watches really getting into the hub of the community but more more so like in a social way i'd say rather than like a Taurus or capricorn way of where they're like helping the community but not really know she's more of like the social butterfly type let's say who's getting to know everybody yeah she's getting to know the people the children the families she's like the kind mum at the school who is really nice to everyone wanted to know a bit about you didn't care like where your background or stuff but then we get to your deeper level which is an air sign so people might say oh that's not that deep but you do you do feel things deep but you have to shut off and that's an air sign coping mechanism if you don't know the air signs that's how they deal with it a lot of the time um and like think of Libras, they're very emotional people. Aquarians, like, they get a bad rap for not being emotional at all, but they are. I've seen an emotional side of Aquarians quite a bit. But this Gemini moon, so you're gonna be a social butterfly. Your friends, you have loads of friends. You don't have a trouble making friends. Or also, if you have your moon in the third house, you're gonna be one of those people who wants intellect on a close level, um, a partnership that's about words, expressing wit, banter, all that type of thing with you with your Gemini moon and if you don't feel that or there's that's not working well for you in the relationship or there's nothing like that then you're going to feel like uncomfortable you need to have those laughs you need to have those light-hearted moments you know um and it it makes you feel good but on the other end like be able to express yourself in a way that's healthy for you i mean that's a way of being healthy for you but maybe get into like something to do with speech or to do with singing whether you're good at singing or not it doesn't matter do something where you use your voice do something where you do little puzzles or sudokus or things like that things that are going to train your brain like you've got a very active mind but you are good at switching off at times as well but maybe some too much like i say with like air signs and the fact you're mutable like you feel from day one you were probably like taking places all the time social areas i'm kind of jealous actually you know and also gemini moons can have quite a sneaky side where kind of like scorpio in the way that they'll use things but they'll use their word rather than like trying to do a power trip they'll use their words to try and confuse you or they'll know what's really going on but pretend not to if you know what i mean and dig deep on the dirt with things but yeah um they, they do make very good friends like they're very sociable people um they're very out there they they know different like they've met so many different types of people that not that they're not judging because I feel like they they are quite judgmental, um, but they're, they're good at they're just good in group settings. Um, maybe not so good one to one, and that's something they might need to work on. 
um, because they were around such a busy household, they might have felt that that was their normalcy. So if every, anywhere is top quiet time, that doesn't feel normal to them, unlike other moon signs, you see what I'm saying? So let's give an example of somebody who is a celebrity who's a Gemini moon, and we'll see, you know, how it works. Well, I've got two perfect examples of Gemini moons here, one being Khloe Kardashian and one being Jennifer Lawrence. Like, Jennifer Lawrence is trying so hard to be that pick-me girl, like, oh, I'm so this and that, I'm so normal, I, I, I do this, I do that, um, you know, and they get verbal diarrhea. Khloe does it too, where it's like, you feel like their energy is kind of fake and not real, but that is their coping mechanism. So you see, obviously, like in the Kardashians, and I come from a big family too, they're all obviously going to have different moon signs. So that was their relationship with the parents. So that's how Chloe felt towards Chris. Like, oh, it's a very sociable house, and she got into like dressing up as a Chris and vice versa, you know. So she loved that because they've got similar placements in their charts and that. But um, I just see, like, the energy of these two being so similar where it feels like they're trying to be really relatable, but it's just not coming across as authentic of someone, like, say, who has a Cancer moon or a Scorpio moon or even a Taurus moon. It just doesn't seem as relatable, if that makes any sense. It means, like, it feels like you're trying a bit too hard and you don't need to. You don't always need to try so hard. Like, people will love you anyway. But uh, that's your trait of, like, being, like, kinder to the bigger population, like, the world at large. Like, that is who you are. Um, and that's, like, you, you care about the social things of people. Like, you genuinely do care about things like that. But you can also suffer with quite bad anxiety and depression because you you get quite anxious energy and you can have low periods you know gemini is polarity sign so it can be two opposite ends of the scale where you feel like numb or emotionless or just over emotional like anything to do with like the polarities of those two types of things you know so you can work on that and like it's always good to do that but Khloe Kardashian, as you've seen, she's struggled many times with relationships and even the relationship with her mum, she felt, was very secretive and there was that whole thing of the paternity thing and that could be an issue, like, you know, if you looked into her chart more, it, it might show up that, like, you know, she, that the dad isn't really her dad and she even looked, she looks so different to her siblings, I get that, but they're not half-siblings, I have that of mine, but they're not half-siblings, are they, so... Yeah, they look very, very different, but can happen. It happens, you know. Um, but they often probably feel quite different to their family as well in that way. And, like, they stood out. Um, it might not be the case, but they feel that sort of, like, alienation within the family unit. But they do feel very connected to the neighbour, like, neighbouring things and their f friends and stuff, you know. So... It's good in that way and, like, you, you're really good at, like, making friends and keeping friends and having a laugh and knowing how to take life on the lighter side, let's say.